My name is Jared Bahaska. My name is Pradeep Tripathi. I am Sohyun Yi. My name is Herman Berdinya Khan. I'm Tian Yi Jong. I want to work in renewable energy and the Future Power Networks course dives right into renewable energy and how we can transition the power grid to those renewable sources. The project I'm most proud of came from the Topics and Control course. It was an optimization of a simulated power grid that had a few generators that we needed to dispatch uh, optimally based on their costs and based on the loads of that power grid. As an international student at Imperial, I think it's sort of the norm. There are loads of international students. I joined a few clubs and societies in the first couple of weeks that I came to Imperial. I tried out for the basketball team. It's just been an excellent outlet and kind of social tool while I've been living in London. I studied uh, MSc in Analog and Digital IC Design. Uh, the reason I decided to pursue Masters at Imperial was because of the professors that were really well known for bioelectronics and I wanted to move into the field of bioelectronics. So the project that I'm most proud of is here in my hands actually. It's something that I started during my MSc. It was part of my MSc project and uh, I was amongst one of the first students to find uh, spatial correlation between non-idealities of his FETs and that got me a paper into one of the world's best circuits and systems content. When I came to Imperial, I, I actually got elected to the Imperial College Union. I, I saw that there was a need of a society that could sort of inspire students to become future leaders in India. So the Indian National Students Association is basically a, a society which is, acts as a home away from home for Indian students. And so from there on, we've had a great amount of events where students have got a chance to interact with leaders. We hope that this inspires them to uh, become future leaders for India. I have set my goal of my master year to improve my skills, to apply my knowledge. So that leads me to apply Imperial College London. I have very proud of project in Imperial College London, which is robotics project. Our robotics project aims to help nurses to save their time. We have managed very successfully to build the robot, which can make a bed in a hospital in a, for, for a patient. The first time I discovered the field of signal processing was when I took part in the robotic talk in my country. When I finished the undergrad, I started looking for MSc programs abroad. I found Imperial. The program was very interesting because it was a short program, just one year program, and they offer advanced course in the field of signal processing. So in my MSc, I work with live field cameras. I spent a lot of time in the computational imaging lab because I needed to uh, take different pictures of point-like sources to study the input response of the camera. I have an undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering and control is a very important part in, so it's quite natural for me to choose the master program in control and optimization. This course introduces some major aspects of in-depth control series and also the application in designing the automated system. I really enjoy the freedom and flexibility in selecting modules and your personal products. I'm quite proud of my individual project. I did this project in the signal processing group and the research team aims at using an in-ear device to monitor the user's sleep quality. After my master program, I started doing PhD and focusing on designing distributed algorithms and maybe in the future I find a specific problem in the engineering area I might go to the industry to put this algorithm into the real world.